Smile to Jenya. <laughs> All right, guys, we are just under a week away from the fight of Conor McGregor and Khabib Narmadamegov. As expected, Conor McGregor has posted something controversial on his Instagram page. And he says, chilling in Jahannam, see you soon. And I was scrolling through some of the comments and some of them were hilarious while some of them were a bit concerning. I stopped myself and said, why don't I play it and react live? So the first one is LOL you belong there anyways It's made for people like you So that's cool with me A, a, a bit of a triggered flex A bit of a triggered flex You mind can't grasp Jahannam You fool Well he's right But I don't think putting everything in caps lock And making spelling errors with an exclamation mark Is proving your point You don't get water in Jahannam Well he's right about that mate Yeah he shouldn't be drinking water I mate if you're in Jahannam. Connor is the master of being delusional and you still make no sense. Okay. Khabib gonna smack TF out of him. I certainly hope so mate. You need some milk. It means you're drinking pee because there's no water in Jahannam. <laughs> Got a swear words mate. Khabib will send you there. <laughs> you will chill in real Jahannam one day. See you soon. Ah. Uh. If you're saying see you soon, it's implying you're also gonna be there mate. You've just shot yourself in the foot with that one mate. No lie, I was a fan of yours but now... Okay, you... Okay, I'm gonna move on from this. A lot of swearing going on there. A lot of people getting triggered. Yeah, a lot of swear words. I can't react to some of this stuff to be honest. A lot of people just swearing. One way to lose all your Muslim fans. Nah, he's not trying to lose Muslim fans. He's just trying to get us triggered so you can sell more tickets. Don't speak of hell that lightly. And then another swear word by someone else. Swear word, swear word. Loads of swear words. Bear in mind guys, first point. He's trying to promote the fight. A lot of the greats have done that in the past. Muhammad Ali done that with Sonny Liston. And George Foreman, he called The Mummy. The more controversy there is in a fight, the more people start talking about it. To be honest, I only found out about the fight because somebody sent me the thing about Khabib saying no to the uh, alcohol. Guys, you have to understand and treat every non-Muslim like a potential Muslim. This may be the most exposure he's had to Muslims. It's a test. Yeah, how will we react to something like this? Will we react with wisdom and beautiful preaching like the Quran asks us to do? Or will we just start getting triggered and throw our Islam out the window and start taking it personal? You have the life of the Prophet mapped out in front of you. You have the Quran. His excuse is ignorance. What's your excuse? Allah has not created Jahannam. For the layman, you have to understand it's there as a deterrent. When I enter a job, I know I can get fired, but no one says, yeah, you're gonna get fired. You can get fired. Did you know you can get fired? Fired, fire, Jahannam, hell. Hellfire is for those people who have a hard heart. They are arrogant. They don't want to hear the truth. It's just counterproductive. I create someone and then throw them in the hellfire. He gives everybody adequate opportunities and chances. When we deny all of them, then it's our own doing guys. Muslims are also human beings and many people have different levels of faith and they practice at different levels of that faith as well. Islam is perfect but the Muslims are not. And until next time guys, Assalamu Alaikum.